I never really felt stressed about food in my body until I graduated from my freshman year of college and I noticed that I was gaining weight. I remember it very clearly. I had a sub from Subway. I ate it and then I felt so bad about it that I made myself sick. That was the start of a five and a half year battle with food, exercise, and my body. From 2013 to 2015, I barely ate. I binged at night. I overexercised and made myself sick to get rid of it. But everyone knew me as the healthy girl. I didn't tell anyone about my issues and I didn't want anyone to know. In 2015, I saw a therapist for five sessions. They did cognitive behavioral therapy with me. I said it worked, but it didn't. I was really embarrassed and ashamed that someone knew I was struggling, so I wanted to pretend that I wasn't anymore. In 2016, my senior year of college, I won a superlative for most likely to eat a salad. During these college years, I was obsessed with exercise, and I would say at least 80% of my mental energy and time was spent thinking about my food, body, and exercise. 2017 was one of my darkest times and summers. I was in grad school, I was lonely, my eating disorder was at its peak, and I even canceled vacations because I was so afraid of being in a bikini. After hitting an all-time low, I got fed up and knew I needed to make a difference from within. I tried all of the diets, all of the ways of trying to force myself to eat right. Nothing was working. I knew I needed to heal myself from within. 2018, I began to make serious changes. I began to fall in love with myself. I began to understand my emotions and shift my relationship to them and to work out and eat in order to feel good instead of trying to make my body look different. When I graduated from graduate school in 2018, I decided to become a personal trainer. As I was working with clients in 2018, I decided to become a personal trainer. As I was working with clients, I noticed that I wasn't the only one that had an unhealthy relationship with food in my body. I noticed that all of these people were trying to change the way they looked in order to make themselves happy. I wanted to help them do the inner work that I found. In 2019, I began an online personal training and self-love coaching business. I also had all of this mental time and energy back. I began to travel. I began to create deeper relationships, follow passions. It felt so good having my mental freedom. As I was helping people online, I realized I needed more training. I began a 10-month coaching certification that specialized in helping people heal the root cause of food, body, and addiction issues. I also fell in love with breathwork and began a six-month trauma-informed breathwork training. As I was working with clients, I realized that their inner healing helps them manifest. Before I even knew what manifestation was, they were getting rid of toxic relationships, they were moving to new cities, they were attracting dream careers, they were falling in love. Then I learned about manifestation and I realized that as we were shifting our inner world, our outer world was naturally shifting and there was a science to this. I then fell in love with manifestation and have been coaching and studying it ever since. I have helped hundreds of people create peace within their body and manifest their dreams. In 2020, I had clients telling me that they wanted to do what I do. I didn't have anyone specific or any specific program to refer them to because I invested in so many and I developed so many tools that helped me help them. So in 2021, I created my own manifestation coach and energy healing program. Now I not only help people heal their relationship with their food, body, and emotions, but I help people manifest their dream lives. I help people become coaches the way I am, start a profitable online coaching business, and I've been traveling the world, meeting incredible people, living in multiple countries and states. I used to think that I would struggle with food in my body forever. I thought it would consume my entire life. I used to think that people who had a healthy relationship with food or who would cleanse and eat well were lying and were suffering as well. I'm happy to say that I was completely wrong. And I hope that this video inspires you and motivates you if you're struggling as well to know that you will not struggle forever. It is possible to feel true peace and ease around food, in your body, in a bathing suit, wearing anything that you want. Healing is possible for you and that you may even turn your pain into your passion and help people heal in the future.